Hello, today's devotional can be found in Ezekiel chapter 28, verse 24. And there shall be no more pricking briar under the house of Israel, nor any grieving thorn of all that are round about them that despise them. And they shall know that I am the Lord God. Okay, so our mortality, we face challenges. We are persecuted. We sin, and we are sinned against. And this is part, this is part of the journey that is our mortality. We suffer these things to strengthen our faith. And that God may come closer to us if we so wish, and that we can partake of Christ's atonement. And even those who serve as a pricking briar unto our spirits, unto our bodies, unto our lives, will not always do that. They may be given the opportunity to repent if they wish it. Everyone will be. But if one does not wish to repent of the harm they cause others, the atonement will not work for them. Those who cause other to grieve, others to grieve and others to be despised, will be held accountable for what they do. And, and those who have been grieved and despised will also be held accountable for their reaction and how they handle the trial because the Lord isn't going to punish those who are grieved and despised as a result of another's actions. Because that wouldn't be very loving, would it? He's not going to punish those who have already been punished by their fellow men. And those who have done the grieving and despising are going to be given the opportunity to repent because they have been influenced by Satan and may not know what they have done is wrong. Of course, they also may know what they did was wrong and they may not wish to repent, they may wish to hold on to their sins as, as a security blanket, and the Lord cannot force people to repent nor partake of the atonement. But he can make people aware of who he is and what he stands for and what the atonement is and what it stands for. Even if they do not want it, they will be aware that it is there that Heavenly Father is the Lord God and that Jesus Christ is the Savior and Redeemer of the world. Because just because one is aware of what is out there doesn't mean people take it. And that's the unfortunate thing, but that's agency for you. Just, I mean, if you're aware of what's out there and you don't take it, that's your choice. But you don't know what blessings you're depriving yourself of. But God will come, Christ will come, someday and right all the wrongs. They shall cleanse the earth of those who are serving as a pricking briar under the house of the Lord. And deprive the earth of all the grieving thorns of the earth of those who have persecuted and despised. And the earth shall be purged of those people who just are truly wicked. They shall be given all the chances in the world in the meantime. But in the end, if they choose not, if they don't choose to change, they will have chosen their fate. And those others who struggled in this life and have accepted all of God's blessings and all of God's promises in the next life shall be given all chances, all blessings according to what they accept and those on this side of the veil can do their work in temples and they should not be ashamed to do it and all shall know that God is there and that Christ is there there shall be no more grief or grieving when that time comes. There shall be rejoicing. There may be a little 
regret from those who didn't prepare while they had the opportunity and for those who didn't believe from those who didn't believe of God and Jesus Christ but they won't be grieving because what is will be what is and what will be is a glorious and happier earth when God and Jesus Christ come when Christ comes again the earth shall be cleansed and all those who believed on either side of the veil, we supplicated. And all those who caused the grief against God and Jesus Christ shall be stopped for good. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.